let's start off the the KBID. I think most of uh, most of people in this room may be experienced in the the Arduino IDE before, right? Recording via the C code. Uh, maybe someone has been experienced in uh, make code.org with a micro bit. Use the something called the visualize programming by drag and drop something like that, and put everything together uh, without the coding, without the syntax, something like that. So the concept of the KBID is combining everything together, combined with the Arduino IDE and combined with the make code, something like that, together with the one IDE, because we have the concept of, of three main parts. The, the first one is everyone can use this IDE to develop some, some hardware thing, something like that. If you don't know everything, something like a hardware, something like a, a coding with the C code, you beginner of the programming. You can use the, the block programming to some, uh, around something. And if you are an expert, you can switch back to the C code, writing C code with the compact parts of, of, of the program. Uh, the second one is hackable. The user of, of this IDE have, have three, three two group. First one is the normal user, like a programmer. The second is developer, try to put something into the, the IDE. And the last one is the, the market. And yeah, that's it. Let's go to the uh, live demo, because I think everyone's <laughs> getting tired, OK? You can see here is a KBID. Yeah, it is a first one download from the the website. In here, if you can see, okay, uh, let me close the presentation. Okay, you can see here. Put the KB KBIDE.org. You can see the the. Every feature you see in, in this IDE, for example, you can code with the block programming in this. Uh, you can use the text programming in this, and you can download and every feature in here, this right in here. But I'm going to show you the, how to use the real program in here. Yeah. If you open the IDE, something like this. Uh, the first one, you need to select your, uh, your board. In here, we have uh, something called uh, the board manager. If you uh, want to program into the, the Arduino Uno, you can select this and just change the board in, in here. And that's it. The IDE will change into the interface in the Arduino, you can uh, set pin, uh, digital read, digital write, analog read, analog write. You can do with the time by delay something. You can create the variable, do the math thing, uh, compare with the logic, or even use the add one like a function, uh, draw some text, and write everything on the serial monitor. Uh, but if you want to, use Arduino like a ESP32. You can uh, select one up here or even download from the online in here. Yeah, we have a lot of board in the online. You don't need to use every board, but you can select your board. For example, I I will I have this board on, on my hand. I just click on the download and yeah. Wait for it. A bit. Come on. Yep, it already download and uh, unzip to my uh, my current workspace, and we got here is a uh, TTGO T watch. You can select in here, and after that, we change the board into the the T watch. Yeah, this is a function of this board. You can play with the accelerometer, the power management. Uh, the clock in this uh, board, and also you have a F1 function like uh, connect with the Wi-Fi, uh, connect with the Bluetooth, 
write a talk or connect to the MQTT, something like that. It's a feature of, of this, this board manager. You can, you, you can download on the online. Same as the plugin manager. It's the same thing. Like a, if you want to connect your board with the, some sensor, for example, in the, uh, the temperature sensor DS18B60 uh, in here, you can select by yes, download in here. After that, you click on the plugin and already yeah, in here, why, what just install in one click. Or if you want to connect the I2C LCD sound of something like that, you can download from here. We have a lot of plugin in here with the block programming already. Yeah, you you got the I2C LCD in here. We have yeah, a lot of sensor. So that means if you want to show something on the screen, you. You just uh, drag and drop and print, take something like that in here. Yes, that's it. It's really easy and convenient. Also, we have the, the example and tutorial in here. You can see the, like, a, I don't know, right? We have the example. You can select, it is the same. For example, if you don't know how to use the DS uh, sensor library, some, something like that, you can open the example and tutorial and open yeah, the example of the block or on the C code in here. This is example you can use easily. Uh, the last thing is the setting. You can choose your favorite colors. Uh, open the developer mode for upload something like if you have your own board and you custom something you can put back to the the original repository. Okay, we have a uh, block programming, right? But more than that, if you are an expert want to write something special, something as one from the block cannot do. You can switch to the text programming mode in C code in here. Yeah, in C code you can write your Arduino program, some uh, pin mode, open and do something in the, in the C. It's very C. And in this C code, you can like uh, convert from the original block. For example, we connect. Uh, uh, the the print print the LCD in here. If you switch back into the C code, it original. But if we convert from the block, you got the code to driving the LCD screen in here. That means if you're an expert, you don't need to write everything. You just drag and drop the something first and just convert those block into the C code and. Do another thing in the Z code later. Okay. Uh, other than that, we have a serial monitor in here, uh, like a serial monitor. In Arduino, we we can uh, see the, the the text in here, or you can use the graph mode to show like a graphing, put everything into the graph on on this IDE. Okay. Uh, this part is uh, like a normal Arduino. You you can select the the COM port and and the it to programming something. Okay. In the the block uh, uh the the final mode is the the dual mode dual mode like a. You can. In here you can see the 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 code. In the, the the right side, it cannot edit, but it will show do directly. If you put in uh, this block LCD screen right, uh, you can see the interactive is we show in this C code, right? If you put in this setup, it will show in the the setup. If you uh, 
Why something yeah, like a prayer? It will show you directly. Yeah. So let me demo some some this board. This board called the the cute bright board. Cute bright board from the government in here. So you can easily write the song something like a, a prayer note. Okay, in here and play the jingle bell note. After that, I connect uh, the board to to my PC now. Yeah, I think it's com number number five. Number five. Okay, we're gonna upload to the to the, the song to this board. Well, I think it's com number five. Is uh is not right com port. Okay. Uh, number seven. In the compile time, if you compare with the Arduino, it's gain more about sixty percent of the, the speed up. You can see here. The comparison with, with the, the Arduino IDE with, with the KB IDE because we have a lot of the programming in the background. Here, yeah, that's it. You just drag the, the, the block code to in this. And if we click here, you can see the, all the nodes you can edit in here. You can remove some node and add your own song. Yeah. We also have a lot of blocks like a draw some picture on, on the screen. If you have I2C, you don't need to like import the picture. No, you can, you just a simple like a, uh, for example, in this board. Okay. Okay, uh, let, let me close this. I'm gonna switch to the block programming mode. Okay. Like if you want to draw something on the screen, you, you don't need to convert the, the picture because you can select the, the, the board, something like this, and use the, like a display on the screen, right on the screen, and that's it. The picture will, uh, will show up on the screen. Okay, on the background, on the background, I think it, it, it is a, a lot of features. You can open the, the kbid.org and, and browse more information on that. But in the background part, like, uh, yeah, in the technology behind of this IDE, we use the Vue.js, is the main framework that we use. And we use the beautify is a uh, like a UI on the button. Everything is a uh, beautify, and we use the webpack to pack everything together and run on the browser. Everything you see here is a browser. It's a Chrome browser, but it have a all uh, like a runtime in in you know, JS in here. It's a, it's a website. So that means. If we build on the website, you can run on the, the MacBook, on the Linux, uh, on the window. It is a cloud cost platform. And we use the block from the Google to driving the, the block programming. And we use Monaco, same as the, the, the VS Code. VS Code also use the Monaco as a tech editor. That means we have the autocomplete part and everything like a VS Code in, in here. Yeah, it's also have uh, auto include something like this. Yeah. Or change the change the editor like a like a 
yeah, like a theme. You can select the theme of the programming. Yeah, that's it. It's a KB ID. For more information, it's uh, a lot of design about that, like a, like a component, UI component, the compilers, uh, the plugin manager, how to design the packet, something yeah, really difficult. Like a compile step, it's really uh, complicated. But if you are a developer, it's really easy to add your library or add your board into the IDE, just just go to our just go to our repository. Everything in here is open source. Every board, every plugin is open source. Because if you want to publish your your uh, like a plugin into this, you need to have the 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 yeah GitHub. Yeah, in here you can go to and it'll try to install or dev something like that. Okay, that's it. Yeah, of course we have a Linux. If you browse to the release, we have a lot of yeah, like a Linux portable window, portable window sets up the Max OS X. No, it's, a, it's already in the store version. Or if you want to be a developer, you, you need to clone and like a compile, but we already compile to you if you are user. Of course, we have a version of Raspberry Pi, you know, but, but you know, it's libraries, but it's very hard. We separate out to our repository. Because at the last we have, I have a limitation of the memory, right? We, we cannot maintain all the Raspberry Pi, Linux, everything in this repository. We need to separate it into, into another repository. Mm -hmm. but, but you can find it in, in this, this, uh, this uh, Maker Asia, something like that. Okay. Right? Anyone else? Okay. Anyone have a question for this session? Get maybe. Do they still have free um, kit right boy? Uh, still. Still. Yeah, you know, you know, we don't have a free, but the school get a free from the government, right? Yes. But you, you're not a school. You, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can buy it from the, from, from the government, but, but already, you can search on the online, you know, but, but it's not a free, okay. but free for the school. So, this is the end of the track. Yeah. Okay, this is the last session. Thank you to um, Witzer Komdet. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah.